I think many firms understand how big it's going to be in electric vehicles. No one's giving it credit for autonomous. Our conviction on its autonomous strategy has increased. So yeah. maybe a new price target. Yes, and we've just finished our model. Uh, we're going to write the blog with it. Yeah, so stay tuned. It's like Elon Musk has been beamed down from another <laughs> planet to show us mortals how to run a, how to run a company. <laughs>Welcome everyone to another video from Electric Invest. In today's a special video because we have ARK Invest's brand new price target from 2022, which is updated from the previous year. Very, very exciting. This video is going to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to be moving a little bit faster. So I hope you guys don't mind me speaking a little bit faster because otherwise this video would be one hour long. So I'm going to be going and breaking down everything for you and breaking down this brand new price target of $4,600 per share, which is their expected value. But I do want to say that if this helps you in your research and you find this significant in any shape and form, consider subscribing to Electric Invest and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And with that being said, without wasting your time, let's jump right in. So right here we see that they have provided this open source to the public. So this is something that you guys can go ahead and check out some of their valuations and change some of the inputs for you guys. I'm going to be putting the link in the description to this. So right over here laid out, we see the expected value of $4,600 a share. And this is based on their Monte Carlo analysis, which just as a little recap for those who might not be very familiar. For ARK Invest, the Monte Carlo analysis process is basically based on multiple sets of inputs about Tesla's business. In their case, they may use 15 or 16 inputs that are very important to the core business, and they run it through tens of thousands of simulations into their analysis. And they basically use this to determine what's the probability of the best case scenario, the bear case, and as well as an expected. Another example to help you understand this is basically when you think about the graphs of the autonomous driving AI computer path and when it creates a predictable path of where to go it basically has this line that wiggles like a snake and it's basically making tens of thousands of calculations per second trying to determine is that a cat is that a person is that a trash can right next to me where do I go and the more data that it gets the more the path keeps getting more and more confident and it keeps changing along the line so if you think about ARK Invest's research and the Monte Carlo's analysis in this particular example that I just gave you, it makes it easy for you to visualize. And I just thought that it was a very nerdy way of looking at it. And we can see over here that in their bull case, they have $5,800. And in it, they're assuming 25% of the probability that Tesla could be worth this amount by 2026. And it wouldn't be a price target without a bear case. And we see $2,900, which is almost three times what it is today. I mean, basically, ARK Invest is saying that Tesla can still almost 3x from today's prices, depending on give or take, you know, what happens to the market and when you're looking at Tesla stock as of the time of you watching this video. And this assumes basically 25% probability that Tesla could be worth that amount by 2026. Moving along over here on this graph, and they're basically breaking down on the research, the attribute revenue, EBITDA, and value of the business line. And in the first pie chart, we can see over here that the revenue by business line for the expected value is $843 billion. So this is basically broken down into the 34% for the robotaxi, 57% for the electric vehicle, and then, you know, a little bit of a 5% for human right hailing and 3% for insurance. And I'm actually going to get back to this 5% human right hailing uh, side of the pie chart a little bit later in the video. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, I want to give you guys a couple of comments on that. But this is taking the biggest side of the pie chart pretty much on all of them. And they're basically expecting 280 billion distributed throughout this pie chart. You know, obviously they're still assigning an 8% on the human driven right hailing side of the business. But the one that I'm more interested in is this one, the enterprise value by business line, because this is their expected value at $5.3 trillion. That is actually pretty, pretty significant. We're talking about an upside of over 5x for Tesla stock. So that will put it at 62% for the robotaxi. So basically 
Robotaxis is going to take over. And uh, I'm still not sure why they're including the human right hitting service over here if the Robotax is going to be such a big deal. But we're going to be talking about that a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned. And over here we see a little bit more information in which they explain that Tesla's prospective Robotaxi business line is a key driver. They're expecting a contributing 60% or over of the expected value and more than half of the expected EBITDA by 2026. Pretty significant. They expect electric vehicles to continue a 57% off the company's revenue by 2026, albeit that they do say that they may have lower margins than the Robotaxi revenue. So this is extremely significant because even if Tesla did you know, one third of that expectation. Again, we're still expecting a bear case that is a 3x in Tesla stock. So, so anybody who's not a day trader and is definitely a long-term investor can rest assured that the outcome is going to be definitely very tremendous. So over here, we're moving along. They give us examples of the output of the bear and bull outcomes. And we see over here in this example that in 2021, so this is actual 2021 data, things that we already saw, uh, Tesla sold 0.9 million, you know, a little bit over 900,000 vehicles. And over here, they're expecting that Tesla by 2026, it's going to do at the very least 10 million vehicles and 17 million vehicles on the bull case. Now, this is, in my opinion, a little bit optimistic, but let's talk a little bit about this. So what does Tesla need to do? by 2026 to be able to do 10 million vehicles per year. Well, let's take a look. We already have right now two brand new Tesla factories, you know, the Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. We know that the initial capacity for them is going to start at 500,000 vehicles at first each. And then they're going to have up to over 2 million vehicles per year. That is basically the capacity as long as there's enough battery material that those factories will be able to do. So off the bat, we already know that if it takes Tesla about one year to fully ramp up these two new gigafactories, we're literally talking about 4 million Teslas per year on top of what we already have right now. So if Tesla can do 1 million, that's already 5 million. So we're halfway there, but hold your horses for one second. We still haven't ramped up Giga Shanghai. And I'm going to talk about it in my next video about Giga Shanghai because I know that right now there's a little bit of a shutdown. But Giga Shanghai is extremely important and it will continue to ramp up in numbers every single year. Giga Shanghai is also expected to have an optimal capacity of over 2 million vehicles. So that already brings it up to 7 million vehicles. So you may be saying, okay, 7 million vehicles, but that's still not 10. But we also know that Elon has already said from the opening of Giga Berlin that Tesla was actually going to continue to build more gigafactories. So we can assume that by 2026, I mean, think about it, this is literally four years in the future that they're going to have two, three, four more gigafactories. And even if they're not ramped up all the way, they can start at 250 or 500,000 vehicles, getting it to 10 million. So that 10 million to me seems extremely likely. Now, 17 million, I'm not really sure. Because even if those factories by the next four years do start to ramp up pretty quickly, I don't see this number being higher than maybe 12, 13 million Teslas per year. So when it comes to production side, I'm somewhere in between this and this. We see over here that the average selling price is $49,000, or that's how much it was uh, in 2021. And ARK Invest is expecting a reduction of $11,000 at an average price of $38,000. Now you might be asking yourself, how can that be? Well, here's the thing, economies of scale. The more Tesla sells, the cheaper it becomes because Tesla can already reuse the same, literally like 70% of the materials of the Model 3 into the Model Y. And they can also use a lot of the same production line, same batteries across the vehicles. There's a lot of cost savings that Tesla does. And right now, uh, Tesla is actually selling their cars a lot more expensive because of the fact that they have more demand that they can actually deliver. So for that reason, Tesla has continued to increase the prices because think about it. Tesla cannot just tell people, okay, you know what? I know most of you have to wait six months to a year to get a Tesla, but could you please stop ordering Teslas? That is just not economically viable. So the only thing that Tesla could do during 2021 and early 2022 was to increase the prices so that way they could artificially lower the demand a little bit. But what's going to happen over here? They're going to have multiple gigafactories being able to then lower the price to increase the demand back to where it would have been if Tesla would have been able to produce all those Teslas before, if that makes sense. Over here, they're predicting that in their bull case, the average Tesla is going to be around $30,000, which is still not far-fetched. But again, in my opinion, I still think that it would be somewhere in between 
only because this is very optimistic and we are not sure what's going to happen in the macro when it comes to, uh, you know, battery supplies and things like that. I can still see Tesla reaching this expected. I am actually in line with ARK Invest's assumptions. So moving along over here, we see that the revenue, 46 billion, was in 2021, but they're expecting $372 billion and half a trillion dollars in revenue. So right over here, we see the human-driven ride-hailing revenue. And I said I was gonna talk a little bit more about this um, because uh, specifically this too, you know, comparing the human and the autonomous ride-hailing uh, side of the revenue. Over here, we see that in 2021, there was nothing because obviously Tesla didn't have any of those. But we see over here, 67 billion in revenue is what they expect for a human written right hailing side of the business. I personally don't think they should include this in their models. They're doing this because they think that Tesla may probably try this route as a way to offset um, autonomous right hailing just in case it doesn't happen soon enough. And they're still pricing that. But obviously we can see that due to their bull case, they increase it almost to half a trillion dollars in revenue from the autonomous ride hailing. And they essentially think that if that happens, there will be no human ride hailing, you know, revenue, which makes sense. I mean, they basically are betting on Tesla achieving full autonomy by 2026 in this bull case scenario. Personally speaking, in my opinion, if this particular one happens, it would not even be that much. It would probably be a third of that. But this one, we will just have to wait and see. So we see over here that the total gross margin was 25% for their business. They're expected to double by 2026 and just slightly more on the bull case. And this is one of the major reasons why Tesla is a dominant player here. Just the right hailing is 100% profit because they already are developing the software. There's no overhead there other than just R&D. But R&D is already being spent now. So for that reason, by 2026, their margins are going to be the highest of the entire industry. And right now, it's basically the highest of the automotive industry anyway. And it's not just the right hailing side. It's also the fact that their software, you know, such as if you want to buy a little bit of a speed boost for $2,000, that's 100% profit. There's so many different things that Tesla does, you know, in-app games, obviously their supercharging network, which a lot of the times does use uh, sustainable energy generation, which increases the profit. So it is not for fetch to expect that Tesla is going to definitely hit 50% or more in margins given the context. So very, very, very exciting things. And this is basically one of the most important parts about it, the market cap. So obviously, as of the time of this graph, the market cap was at around $1 trillion. But in their bear case of $2,900 a share, they're expecting the market cap to be at around $3.3 billion or up to $6.7 billion on their bull case. This is one of the most controversial things about ARK Invest's research. Every analyst in Wall Street cannot fathom how Tesla could be uh, into the trillions. They still cannot fathom why Tesla is at a trillion dollars today. But if we compare Tesla to Apple, like ARK Invest likes to do, Tesla is not just a car company. Tesla has an ability to generate revenues in ways that no other car company can do. And quite frankly, will probably never be able to do unless they actually start to copy Tesla's model. So multiple trillion dollar market cap is actually not far-fetched for Tesla. So right over here, I want to talk a little bit more about the rest of this. So over here, they give a little bit more examples as to what could happen, you know, the capital gross loss in CapEx, uh, you know, a, a, a couple of standard deviations when it comes to their bull case and their bear case. I'm not going to really touch up on this part. I have a link in the description for you guys if you want to take a look a little bit further. I actually want to focus a little bit more on this particular graph over here. And over here, we can see the estimated total addressable market for autonomous ride hailing by price segment. And over here, we essentially see that the addressable ride ship market right now in the Western market is a little bit under $1 trillion in value. So they're predicting that with ride hailing, obviously, rides will be cheaper because you don't have a human driving. You don't have to pay them for nothing. It's just a Tesla driving. So obviously, that will reduce the cost per mile. And in this assumption, if it's reduced by you know, right around 40 cents per mile down to 60 cents per mile, we can already see a humongous increase to 2.7 trillion in the addressable market. So literally more than double just by that. And as the dollars per mile decrease, 
the addressable market size continues to increase. And in this model, they show us in the purple here that the highest probability would be on the bull case that DASA could achieve 25 cents per mile, which would be a quarter of today's prices, putting the addressable market at $5 trillion. This is huge because this would be $5 trillion for Tesla's valuation. Now, obviously, that's only if Tesla achieve total domination in this market, which we already know that Tesla wouldn't. But let's say that Tesla would achieve, I don't know, a quarter of it. You could still give Tesla, you know, uh, uh, 1.5 or $1.3 trillion on top of its valuation, more than doubling Tesla's valuation right now just because of the right hailing. So huge, huge predictions here that we see. So in this graph, we see the percentage of the simulations indicating the first year of Tesla's robotaxi commercialization. So basically when robotaxi starts. So uh, obviously robotaxi in 2022, they're assigning a 10% probability. Personally speaking, I don't think it's gonna happen this year. A lot of analysts are not even pricing it until probably much further than 2024 and 2025, which is where ARK Invest is giving it the highest probability of 25 to 24%. But this is the important thing that I wanna uh, emphasize for all of you. And that's if we add all of this up, we see that ARK Invest is still giving the probability that Tesla is gonna have some level of right hailing robot taxi autonomy. But if we add all of these numbers up, we basically see that ARK Invest is giving Tesla over 90 to 91% chance that they're going to have a robot taxi commercialization anytime during the 20s. The previous model did not have that in the bear case, but even the bear case includes a probability in this assumption. So they're essentially pretty confident that some level of robot taxi is going to happen in the 2020s. And if you guys remember that in the cyber rodeo, Elon actually revealed that there was a new Tesla that was dedicated as a robo taxi. This is something that they're actually going to be building now, not next year or the following year. Now, I did wanna say one thing. This could either be a Tesla that is geofenced, meaning that it only works in one city or a couple of small regions, or it could be something that only works on the boring tunnels, which is something that we already know that Tesla is capable of doing. Right now, it's all about whether or not the laws allow it. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. It is, again, not far-fetched but it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a big deal when it comes to the new Tesla that they're doing right now. But in the future, we can totally see how that could actually balloon very, very quickly into something huge as soon as they achieve level four and level five autonomy. So moving along over here in the research, we see that they have a graph for Tesla's capital efficiency. And this is uh, a graph that I actually disagree a little bit. And I'm, and I'm about to explain to you guys why. So over here, we see in this line, the cost per unit that Tesla has been spending over the years, it keeps going down and down. And that was thanks to the Model 3 and Model Y. After 2022, we can see that they started ramping up Model 3s after 2017 and Model Ys, which brought it even further down. They're basically essentially saying that Tesla will not get more efficient until 2026 when it comes to building their cars. And that could not be further from the truth. If there's anything in this entire price target from ARK Invest that you could probably think that it's wrong, it's most likely going to be this. Why? Because in their bull case, see that they're predicting that Tesla should continue to get even more efficient when it comes to their cars. And that is more likely to happen. Because if you look at Cyber Rodeo, Elon Musk was explaining the difference between Giga Texas compared to the other factories and how efficient the flow was when it comes to uh, production. Everything was laid out in a neat package, essentially making the production process the most efficient Tesla has ever had in its history. And that's just in Giga Texas. Tesla basically has the blueprint to continue to build more Giga factories in this new, more efficient manner. What do you think it's going to happen? That Tesla is not going to get more efficient? No, no, no. Of course not. What's going to happen is every new Gigafactory from Giga Texas and Berlin moving forward is going to be producing cars a lot faster every single quarter than the previous. This is something very, very, very important. We already know that Tesla has been growing at 70% average annualized. And Elon said that, that he believes that Tesla can grow faster than the 70% per year 
But moving along over here in their price target, we see that they have a chart for their probability density scenario mixed over 2026 price targets at a maximum annual production increase of 100%. And what I like about this graph is we can essentially see all the way down from the worst, worst of the worst case scenario, Tesla basically goes down to zero or up to $14,000 a share, depending on this type of scenarios. And over here, we can read a little bit on it. Obviously, on the most bull side over here, we see that Tesla delivers on RoboTaxi before 2023. And if that were to happen, then they would bring a price target at, at the very least 5,700 and beyond, because we can see that that's where this overlap happens. The middle one is basically Tesla delivers RoboTaxi just a year later. And the one over here, RoboTaxis by 2025 or 2026. So this is very, very interesting. Like I said earlier, they are including RoboTaxi on everything, which is basically the thing that analysts do not even want to include in their price models. And it really does come down to that when it comes to Tesla, because that's basically the bulk of the biggest valuations that you can expect from Tesla. Very, very interesting, but I don't wanna to take too long because this video is already taking too long on this. I need to move on to the next graph over here, essentially explaining pretty much almost the same thing in just different scenarios, you know, uh, uh, delivery robot taxis by 2024, before 2024 and after 2024. And then they go along by more examples and scenarios, you know, 28% of Tesla delivers on robot taxis. So once again, I included a link to this report of the brand new ARK Invest price target. I have a link down in the description for you guys to look at it. But let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts about this entire thing? Do you think that ARK Invest is right? Do you believe that Tesla is really going to be able to achieve um, autonomous driving before, during, or after 2025? Your comments are highly valuable and I really, really appreciate it. If you find my commentary informative in any way and would like to see me break down in a little more details, a little bit of these price targets in the future, consider subscribing to Electric Invest and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you guys in the comment section and next time.